Welcome back everyone and welcome to my new home. I've been busy. Uh, it's been a couple of days in game uh, and I've been busy building a lot more. Um, just trying to get some more shelter, get some more space as well. So let me quickly show you the new house security system in place. I've um, got a little fire here, a little torch. Um, I've put a new box in here just to start storing some of my more kind of valuable items precious items such as the gold shards there i've got a meat smoker which i haven't yet used but i will shortly if i can a uh, little barrel there obviously for warmth and the bed which really annoyingly like hasn't snapped into place <laughs> it's just at an angle and oh god i could not get it to go straight and it was just do my head in <laughs> We've got a little bottle rack here, which is really cool. It's all the bottled notes go in there. And if I take you up to the rooftop terrace, I've only currently got a chair, which is possessed because it's floating. <laughs> but we can just sit here and just look over the ocean. The hell that we find ourselves in, but it is paradise at times. We can do a full 360. We've got the exorcism neck, clearly, by the looks of it. Anyway, <laughs> uh, I am starting to encounter a couple of little bugs and glitches. The plane that you can see over there, let me just stand up, keeps moving place. Um, it was literally on the beach at one point. It was kind of about there where the cursor is. Um, it's been about there at one point, it's been there, and now it's way, way out over there. So I don't know why that keeps happening. Um, we've got an extra couple of bird snares here too. And we've got a furnace down there for when I want to um, start smelting some metal down. Uh, a couple of other bugs, like I say, just minor performance things. Obviously, this is floating. We've had some glitches with placements of things and things just flying off. Um, enemies, once they're dead, have been... Well, there was one Komodo dragon where it was like literally just spinning round and round and round <laughs> like endlessly its neck was just spinning continuously it was totally bizarre um deforestation here on a massive scale as well unfortunately to build that i kind of didn't want to go too far with the house i didn't want it to be enormous because i think you know from an immersion perspective if you're in a survival situation can you really build <laughs> a five-star hotel by yourself probably not but what we are going to look to do is with the crossbow which we've now got tooled up. I'm going to go around, get the boat, and we are going to sail to... I think it was a, roughly about here. I actually saw it when we were up in the house there. Um, and we're going, to, we're going to dive down to the little submarine that we found. Remember episode one or two where we were looking down onto the submarine? We're going to go down there. We're going to use the crossbow to take out any sharks. I'm going to use the axe to break our way through or maybe actually I might make a granite axe so I've got a little bit more got a granite spear which I've just realised you can throw look at this oh you can throw I did not know that that's pretty cool I can throw that into a shark if I need to so guys let me go fetch the super yacht and I will be oh there it is back with you above the sub and also we're going to go and check that out at some point later on too so I'll be right back with you Right, here we are guys, there she is, but also there, Jaws is too, I'm hoping there's only one here, <laughs> yeah it just looks to be just the one, um, so I'm wondering, let's go for it you know, do I jump in or do I try and shoot it, see if I can maybe, maybe I'll, I'll attract it over, I'm, ooh, what the hell, crouching for some reason, right let's get in the water, see if I can maybe attract it over, fire off a couple of shots at it, here we go, let's, you want to it? let's go for it man, come on, we've got the crossbow, oh I've sunk into the water, right come on shark, did that, was that a hit, oh Christ, ooh, that was definitely a hit, straight in its face, I'm worried I may have lost two balls here, right we're going to have to get up here quickly aren't we, swim 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 swim, right where's it gone, we're doing for arrows. I may have missed. Oh, I'm doing alright. 
I'm worried I've missed a couple of shots there. Right, where's the shark? Get back under there. Right, we just seem to drop. Here it is. Come on. Yes. Oh, quick, 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 quick. Yes, got it. Right. Let's deal with that in a bit. Here we go. Let's get under here. Submarine hinge. Both gone. Right, let's quickly just get out of breath. Oh, this is going great. Catch our breath. We'll get that shark shortly. We'll get the arrows back from it. I keep, I keep crouching here. I'm not too sure why. <laughs> I really want that cardboard box too. <laughs> right. No other sharks. Let's just get straight in there. Oh, it's right under the body of the shark. Oh, come on. Why won't it go up? A little bit tricky. Oh, look at this. Granite pickaxe. Can't get that kind of... Right. Uh, Painkillers. Another pickaxe. Oh, what's this? Pair manual. Can we hit anything here? No. We've got two pickaxes here. Shit, it's time to get out. Right, tell you what, let's, uh, maybe I can drop the spear briefly. He's not going to hit the ocean. <laughs> let's quickly get back down there. Let's get one of those pickaxes too. The big thing there is we've got what says to be a repair manual. Can we break through these? No. Okay, I think this is literally it then, isn't it? Right, we're done. Let's get out of here. Get back to the surface. Oh, hang on a minute. There we go. Right, take the shark. Oh, Christ, we're back underwater again. Oh, why is this happening? Uh, fish fillet. Fish fillet. One's bouncing around. Plenty of fish here. What's that? Shark fin? Oh, yeah. Uh, tell you what I do want. Get back on the raft quickly. Ah, oh, no. What I really wanted was... A uh, shark tooth, if I could have got a tooth. If we get back in there. I don't know where the rest of it's gone. It's just completely vanished. Yeah, look at this. Everything's just sinking and bobbing around everywhere. Um, what the hell is this? Oh, it's my rudder. <laughs> right, let's get back on the raft. Okay. Right, let's get to shore. And let's check out what we've just got here. Right, here we are. Let's see what we've got there, because we've got something that was to do with the radio tower, wasn't it? Radio tower repair manual, here we go. And use it to fix the radio tower. I realised I'll need the following materials to fix the tower antennas and the power box. Wow, look at all this. Metal scraps, screws, heat sink, circuit board. Scraps, screws, bloody hell. Lots. Right, oh my god. Also, I found another bottled note, but again, I feel like this is some kind of glitch here because it's the same note as the first one that we found. Which is, if I go right back to the start, uh, sorry, the second one there. The three page note to Logan. Right, okay, so we need a ton of equipment now, don't we? A ton of like metal and all sorts of stuff. So luckily I've still got my original drop box here. So there's screws, scrap metal there. Um I start taking some of the stuff out and I'll place it. Look at that circuit board. Screws, screws. I'll start placing it all on the ground, which could be a risk. <laughs> Leopard teeth, that's what I wanted. Uh, screws, no inventory full. Right, let's start placing them all on the ground here. Eventually, we'll have a gigantic pile of everything that we need. And I might just cook that fish as well. Um, how strange. Painkillers, oh wow. Scrap metal, there we go. Right, let's cook some tasty fish. We can smoke it. Why don't we smoke it here? No, I need. Uh, one, two, three, 
Wow, 79 hours. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bit of fish. There we go. Right, how long do they take to cook? It doesn't. It doesn't say. Okay, well, we'll come back in a little bit. I'm going to go and start collecting some more resources. But before I leave you, I am just going to quickly show you the two additional notes that I found for uh, Lieutenant J. Thompson, starting with uh, June 1st, 1944. Isolation is really starting to get to me. I can't shake the guilt of hiding here to save my life while my fellow soldiers face the horrors of war. They are the real brave ones, fighting on the front lines, while I ended up stranded on this island. My father never recovered from losing his own father in the Great War, and I vowed to be different. That's what I told myself to justify deviating from our course during the storm. But here I am, thin like a coward. My brother died with honour in battle, and now I'm just stranded, waiting for a rescue that may never come. The more I think about it, the more I realise that dying in battle might have been the more honourable path. This pathetic existence, scavenging for food and battling my own mind, feels like a poor substitute for the bravery and sacrifice my comrades are showing. It feels like fate, or someone, is pushing me for abandoning, sorry, punishing me for abandoning my duty. War tears families apart, and I wanted to spare mine that pain. But now I fear they may never see me again. And they... they're not, not sure what that is. Something of surviving when so many brave souls fight on haunts me every day. And the final note we found so far, Memories and Dreams, July 10th, 1944. Brooklyn seems like a lifetime ago. I often find myself drifting down memory lane recalling the vibrant life I once had. I can almost hear the crack of the bat as Johnny Romano hits another home run at Yankee Stadium, the crowd erupting in cheers. The smell of fresh pretzels from the street vendors mixed with the city's unique aroma is something I long for every day. Those were simpler times, life full of life and promise. I think about my friends from the neighbourhood. Tommy, Tommy and I used to play stickball in the streets until the sun went down. Sally, with her golden hair and bright laugh, who I secretly adored in school. I wonder... I wonder where they are now. I must be, must be where they If they're safe. If they think about those carefree days too. I dream of a future world without war, where peace and progress reign. Maybe someday we'll have flying cars or colonies on the moon. It's a wild thought, but it gives me hope. I picture myself in that future, walking with Mary and our daughter Elizabeth marvelling at the wonders of a peaceful world. These dreams keep me sane, give me something to hold on to. Every night there is a battle against loneliness. The isolation gnaws at me, slowly chipping away at my spirit. Sometimes I hear whispers in the dark, the wind rustling through the trees, or maybe it's just my mind playing tricks on me. The stars above remind me of how vast the world is, yet here I am, confined to this tiny island. The nights are the hardest. I lie awake, staring at the sky, trying to silence the doubts and fears. I think about my father, a stern but loving man who never recovered from the loss of his father in the Great War. He always told me to be brave, to stand tall. I wonder what he would think of me now. Would he see a coward hiding from the world, or a son trying to survive against the odds? Mm, so there we go, just another stranded person really, isn't it? It's, uh, it takes everything from me, this island. Uh, I'm going to pop the shark fin in there too. Because it is definitely something we can craft with. I've got a... What the hell is this? See this? Talk about little glitches and stuff, you know. Uh, let's eat that bird meat there. I didn't realise I had more fish to put on the smoker. Uh, let's bang these on. Put that one just up there. And then we should have room for one more there. Perfect. I can't believe that's got 80 hours on it. <laughs> so this will take a long time to cook, but it's going to taste probably amazing and it will last a long time too, which is great. Um, I'll get some sleep, I think, guys. Um, and then I think I'm going to sail over to that boat as well. I'll make sure I'm fully prepared and I will see you back in the ocean, I guess. There, right. Where's that final shark? 
Let's get in the water, see if we can tempt it towards us a little bit. Keep an eye on the raft at all times. Right, one. Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Two, get out of there. On the raft. Where is it? Directly below me here. I'm going to try and flip the boat. Where's it gone, man? Okay, let's get back in there. Come on, shark. Got you. Yes! Get our arrows quickly. One, two, three. Hang on a minute. Another one. Get back on the raft. This is the fourth shark now. Bandage up. Um. Oh, hang on. You have my life. There's there's a few of them. There's one. There's one over in the distance there. Why the hell are there so many? This might be something we can't quite do just yet. Hope and pray that other one. Oh, reload, reload. Come on. Get it. Get out of the water. Oof, okay. Uh, let's just jump over. Get our arrows off it yet again. Wish we could pick it up. Can you imagine? Just drag it onto the boat with us. <laughs> right, can we... Uh, oh, we might be able to actually. Yeah, we can just take it from... Oops. Get it from here. Shark fin, fish. What I really want are the teeth. Quickly get over there and get the teeth. Uh, tooth, tooth. Any more sharks? Oops. Okay, right. I don't want to tempt fate. I think we might just be clear here. Let's just take a bandage. Make sure we're fully as much health as we can. I'm going to just pop that there and the fish there too. Let's make a few more arrows. If you can't tell, this is not the first time that I've been here. <laughs> I've been killed by these sharks more times than I care to admit. Look at that, my fish is just bobbing right off the boat. Right, let's, uh, my crossbow is starting to run out a little bit. Right, it's now or never. Let's just get down there. See what we find. Come on. Oh, that was a real bad start. We want to head down to the hatch just here. Take it out. Oh, God, you're joking me. Come on, man. Shit, there's another... I can't even see what I'm being attacked by here. Take the boards out. Right, let's get back up. What am I even being attacked by? Get out of this water. There's fish flying around everywhere. Right. Something is going wrong here because I, I do not know what I'm being hit by. Uh, take another bandage. Just take a few moments to compose themselves. And I just say we make one more dive down into the guts of that boat. Unless it's the pressure. Could it be the pressure that's hurting us? I've taken out like four sharks. Let's go. Get down there. See, look, something's hitting me again there. There is another shark. They're just coming out of nowhere. Uh, that's nothing. These strange currents. What's this? Caffeine pills? Oh, ha what? What? I'm stuck. This is not working out, guys. Uh, soda, pop. Right, get out of the water. Where's my raft? Shit, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Right, there's... There's nothing even there. 
Oh, I actually <laughs> feel that was a bit of a waste. After all that. There it is. Bastard. So the sharks clip through the boat. <laughs> Believe it or not. Ah, God, honestly, man. Tell you what, let's just see if we can get anything from this shark here. Some more fish. We're going to have so much fish, we're not going to know what to do with it. Please tell me I've got teeth, though, in my inventory. Uh, shark tooth. Yeah, because I can make the... Uh, I think I can make special axe with that. Let's just sail forward ever so slightly. There we go. Uh, oh, give me them teeth. Tooth. Oh, it's just out of range. Oh, no. I don't believe it. <laughs> Get closer. Uh, oh, no. Come on. Bloody shark there as well. Give me that last tooth, please. Got it. Right. Do you know what? Let's get out of here. This has been a bit of a dud, I think. It's been very costly. I do, can I get that? Uh, it's too far out of range. There's pieces of shark litter in the ocean here, but we have got really nothing to actually show for it. Which is not good at all. I think we head back to home base. Not the shop, obviously. <laughs> if you're English, you know what that is. <laughs> we head back home. Lick our wounds. And I think I'm going to have to get on the grind. And I'll see you back in probably quite some time. <laughs> when I've eventually got this tower fixed. See you then, guys. Right, guys. Here we are. Back again. After an insane amount of time. <laughs> <laughs> grinding going back and forth from island to island we've repaired this antenna here whoops and we're climbing right up to the very top we've got this one repaired all that's left outstanding here is to drop two microprocessors into this one one two and there we go the radio tower has been repaired so the tower has been activated, there we go. Do we do anything with this? Uh, I guess not. Right, let's just check our journal now and then. Um, no, done it again, wrong one. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> the radio tower, 100%. Right. Um, we've got that one, we've done all of that. Right, here we go. With the tower parts repaired, I only need to activate the tower with the key, which we've done. And that's it. Just a duplicate note. Are you joking me? Okay. Um, let's, I guess, turn on our GPS. Oh, look. Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, okay. I think that is pointing down to my storage box down there where I think all the GPS tags are. Shit. Let's go down and just double check that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's the case. Let's just get down there. This is treacherous, this as well. Oh my god. Right, here we go. We're closing in on what I believe is GPS tags in my house. Yes. Oh, you're joking me, man. There they are. So if I pick these up and just get them in my inventory. GPS tags, right. Oh, I think there was one more, was there? Maybe not. Okay, let's uh, turn it on now. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, can you believe it? After all that. So there's the tower. It's highlighted in the, the yellow tower shape, obviously. And that is it. I don't believe it. So, we were told... Where the sun meets the sea is where the deciphering book is. Um, so it's either literally where the sun sets or, call me crazy, but could it have something to do with the lighthouse? I know the lighthouse isn't the sun, but it's light, which is what the sun gives. And it meets the sea. Could it be something to do with that? 
Right then guys, you join me back on the rooftop terrace with a beautiful sunrise, 5 or 1 a.m. Look at this, glorious. We've got the tower there, the trees and the ocean just bathed in that early morning sun and warmth. Stunning. But we have hit a snag. We have gone as far as the game will let us. There are probably one or two notes out there. I did find another note of Logan Harper's, um, which I'll play to you guys now. Last night changed everything. Player and I spent the night talking, really talking, for the first time since the crash. We shared fears, hopes and dreams. Holding her close, I realised how much I care for her and the kids. They may anchor in this chaotic sea of survival. But along with that realisation came a flood of guilt. This morning, as we prepared for the day, I couldn't shake the feeling that I was betraying my wife. Claire and I shared a kiss last night, a moment of weakness that felt so right, yet so wrong. My heart ached with the weight of my emotions, torn between the connection I was forming with Claire and my loyalty to my wife back home. I decided to talk to Claire about it. As we sipped on the last of our salvaged coffee, I took a deep breath. Claire, I need to explain something. Last night, it meant a lot to me, but it also made me realise why I've been so distant. She looked at me, concern and understanding in her eyes. What is it, Logan? I lost my son when he was five, began my voice, heavy with emotion. It destroyed me. It nearly destroyed my marriage. My wife and I, we almost didn't recover from it. But we did, eventually. We became closer than ever. But the fear of losing another child, of feeling that pain again, it's been too much. That's why I've been keeping my distance from you and the kids. Claire's eyes filled with tears as she listened. Logan, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. I know, I said, feeling the sting of my own words. That's why I think it's wrong for us to get close. I care about you, Claire. More than I should. But I have a family back home. A wife who's waiting for me. I can't betray her. The heart broke in front of me. I could see the pain in her eyes. The tears she fought to hold back. I understand, she whispered, her voice cracking, but it doesn't make it any easier. We spent the rest of the day preparing for our journey to the nearby island. I fortified the raft, making sure it was as seaworthy as possible. Claire took stock of our remaining supplies and tended to the kids. Emma, Jake and Tommy seemed more at ease seeing us working together, but there was a palpable tension in the air. As the sun began to set, we gathered around the fire. Claire and I explained our plan to the kids. We're going to explore a nearby island, I told them. It might be dangerous, but we'll be careful. We need to find more food and water, and maybe we'll find a better place to stay. The kids listened quietly. Emma, the oldest, looked at me with a seriousness that belied her years. Will we come back? She asked. Yes, Claire assured her, but it's going to explore. We'll be back before you know it. That night, as we lay in our makeshift shelter, Claire reached out and took my hand. Thank you, she whispered, for staying, for understanding. I squeezed her hand gently, my heart heavy with the weight of my decision. We're in this together, we'll find a way to make it. As I drifted off to sleep, I thought about the journey ahead, the unknown waters, the potential dangers. But for the first time since the crash, I felt a glimmer of hope. We had a plan, and we had each other. Tomorrow, we'll set out. We'll scout the nearby island and come back with what we need. It's a risk, but it's a calculated one. And with Claire by my side, I know we can face whatever comes our way. But deep down, I knew that I had to prioritise getting back to my family. My wife needed me, and I had to find a way to return to her, no matter the cost. It was a harsh reality, but one I couldn't ignore. Other than that one, I have searched. <laughs> I've searched for hours, trust me, oh my god driven to the brink of insanity <laughs> by this and driven to the point of Google and Google allegedly tells me there's no more yet so I'm going to keep an eye out on the updates I'm going to keep an eye out on the discord and as this gets updated I'm going to keep coming back into it I'm going to keep learning more about the islands learning more about the story but I've got the itch for survival now, if I'm honest. Um, I would love it if you guys could tell me in the comments 
what you would like me to uh, play next, what you'd like to see next. I don't know why, but I'm feeling scum. I've never played scum before. It's on sale at the minute on Steam, <laughs> which might be influencing my decision, but it's on sale and I just fancy it. Um, but any other survival game, also Green Hell is on sale. Um, <laughs> so there's two great games there that I can go for survival wise. So. I'm going to continue playing this one, or checking up on this one at least. I'm going to find a new survival game, like I say, let me know in the comments. But if you've enjoyed this series so far, drop a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, as always, be extremely grateful if you could do so. So as always guys, I'll see you in the next one. Catch you then.